we walk up Everybody frozen when we walk up Hearts get broken when we walk up Largest you know, numbers and, and, and fellow artists as well. I mean, I know that you know you've talked about collaborating with my Conan. That's a thing that's done. Yeah, we have an album together. It's it's incredible. It's the best album of the 21st century. And what is it that you like about him? A few words that you can share about what you love about McConan and why the chemistry is real. He's insanely talented. Yeah, it's McConan. His voice is amazing. He's a very genuine person who I get along with on a lot of different levels. We're like best friends, so it's really easy for us to make music together. He has been my favorite hip hop artist since way before I started making music. It was one of my dreams to ever meet McCone and uh, we got an album together. That's crazy, man. Baby, you're using me like I'm your favorite drug. Steady abusing me like you don't want my love. Baby, you're using me like I'm your favorite drug. Steady abusing me like you don't want my love. Want my love. I met Lil Peep online in 2017. I had picked him up from Echo Park and went to um, our mutual friend Trapzilla's house. Yeah, that was our first time meeting. I would describe Lil Peep as a shy, kind of quiet, but very smart, wise, deep thinker type of guy. You know, he was just someone who wanted to go after his dreams and make them really come true. Um, he really cared about his fans a lot. He would always be on his phone all night, um, responding to everybody. And sometimes I have to tell him like, it's okay, go to sleep, they'll, they'll be there tomorrow, you know? But um, yeah, he was that type of guy. He was um, thoughtful. I feel like Pete met McConan at the perfect time. It was such a pivotal time in both of their careers. Like, Peep is on the come up, breaking through, coming up, building a huge cult following all over the world. He was getting his record deal and doing his first big studio album, Come Over When You're Sober. He's one of these courageous people that can just get an idea and jump wholeheartedly into it and put his whole, his whole body, his whole existence, everything about him into it. He merged his life with his dreams. He was the most true to form artist I ever worked with. And you have McConan. This guy's really like your favorite artist, favorite artist. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Who at the time, from a perspective, could have seen like he was a little more stagnant and wasn't dropping as much, but like already has all these accolades and all these songs that have kind of changed all of our childhoods. McConan exudes music. When he hit the scene, like, he was just this, like, enigma. It's like this level that is so rare and so special. You almost have to be a connoisseur just to appreciate it. When you combine Peep and McConan, it was something completely different. It was experimental. The two of them basically had created their whole own unique way of making music. You heard me? Uh, Red Dragon Dead. <laughs> I remember Pete telling me one day, and I think he, for some reason, waited to tell me because like, he wanted to make sure that it was a sure thing. But he said, dude, McClellan and I have been making music. And it was like this crazy, it, reality all of a sudden and we went from you know dreaming about this and fantasizing about the music to actually Pete popping that shit on in the car and all of a sudden he's making a track with McConan. The 
that time, I, I feel like it was just music, music, music. Like every day, no matter what time we were going to bed, we were waking up and the first thing, you know, eat some food and go back to the studio. So there was just a shit ton of music being made. Once you were in that room, watching what they were making, and, and there was nothing else that mattered at the time. It was just beautiful. Like, I remember a lot of stuff from those sessions just because they were filled with joy and, like, in a way that actually, you know, I just don't think I had seen with Peep in the recording context before. It was always fun, but never quite that fun or carefree. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Last year? Yeah, this song I want you to hear to get on. Okay. I like that There's another one. I'm Max. Yeah. Sam Fly. energy is just like off the wall like he's ready to just like conquer anything and he just his voice is just so confident just naturally like anything he says is like feel it they just kind of like combined together became something on its own we were starting to get a lot of work done but at the same time there's a lot of distractions and so we had the opportunity to go to london where it'll be a little more productive for us we're having fun making music and want to make stuff that's going to change the world. I remember people calling me and telling me we we're going to London to work on a project with McConan. It was pretty crazy. I was like, nah, you're joking, right? He got me a ticket. I ended up in London, and we got right into it. Trying to get McConan on the vibe that we were previously on. That was just how we started, so I sent him some guitar shit. Once I got called in, I guess, it was kind of like start curating. I was like, all right, if I'm going to curate some vibes, I wanted to curate 80s, kind of like synthy kind of shit. Hello. That's when I was like, all right, this is going to be a good direction for the album. My favorite song would have to be November. I'll never forget when he told me he said it was his favorite song he had ever worked on. I don't know what that meant, really, because I was like, you know, you did a lot of songs. I'm like, that's kind of crazy to say. But he said it was just like the most fun he'd ever had working on a song. There wasn't any like rules or there wasn't any like guidelines. It was just kind of like whatever we felt in the moment, whatever we wanted to do, we would do it. Whether it's like reach out to certain producers and get beats that day or 
walk into the piano room and just literally freestyle for 20 minutes on the piano and then chop something from that. And um, I think that's what made it dope is that there was no expectations, there was nothing. It's just like we pulled up to the studio every day. We just started creating. It was like him and his peers phone, like he didn't care about sounding bad. He didn't care about like saying something that was embarrassing or anything. Like he truly was just like speaking from his heart. There was a significant change happening in Peep as an artist in the months of July and August 2017. Not only was he on a roll and advancing as a person and as an artist, like he was also snapping. He's not doing any of that shit like any of it in the way that he would have done in his room. It was completely different. He could get more ideas out faster. It was just lighter, more confident, less encumbered. The artistry of it was changing and he was changing as a person. He was really evolving in this new way and becoming serious and deliberate about his future and his immediate plans. When he was able to create a brighter future for himself, he would run toward that, you know, with everything he had. Peep was able to push a lot of the distractions aside and say, I can just be with this one person and make my best music and be my best self and be healthy. That's what those two discovered when they went to London together. So we were hearing this and like, it was just a whole new thing. Drop it, shake it, kiss it, twist it. Just that bond between McConan and him. No matter how raw this album is or what's on it, it's like it totally captures that energy. Just them just vibing off each other. We weren't really focused on the business part and the acceptance of, of this album. We were just wanting to make something new and fresh and exciting and healing that was going to be able to, you know, help heal our fans and help heal us because we were both going through situations that were mentally challenging. This was our place where we can let our superhero versions of ourselves shine and create the things that we express and share with the world, which is our music. Some of them were probably like just drafts, but that is like better than getting a, a, like a retouched studio album. I think many peep listeners can agree they want to hear the raw thing and they want to hear it as Gus had done it. I'm just really pleased that Diamonds is gonna get finished because it really is like a jewel. Like that shit is, represents like the last coherent body from one of the best artists in Western pop music. In, in history, so I hope people really like appreciate how cool it is that they get to hear it the way that it is and not, not made into a product, but an actual document. Listening to the songs from Diamonds, making sure they'd be peep approved. The songs that peep have down that he wanted was Falling Down, November, Sidelines, Hocus Pocus, I Don't Give a Fuck, Hypnotize, I've Been Waiting, Falling, 
and twisted. Those are the ones that he had listed in his uh, his iPhone at this time. How many is that? Ten? I don't know. I don't know if that's the full list, or that's just the list that his mom has from his thing. Today, a lot of the things that we're going to be doing is is not necessarily changing or trying to get like the the most industry style like mix for something. We just don't want to alter like the feeling of what was already created and just keeping it in its pure form and releasing it like that to the fans how it was intended to be. I love it. Are you a liar? Oh my god. They get me. I'm being over here. That's why I'm crying. That's why I just something special about it. Like, out of every artist I'd say I knew that Pete liked, it was McConan that was number one. So that's probably the biggest thing for me is that he got to work with his favorite artist, you know? For Pete and McConan to meet and be such good friends and create the way they did was like a little mini miracle. They recognized that and captured that and it separates from your job or your role as a music artist or what you think you're supposed to do in life and reaches into this other place where you find somebody and you just want to spend time with them and exist and there are no rules. It's your best friend or it's someone you love. It's a creative partner and they had that in each other. Yeah, he's just a trippy guy because he, he 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 just trips on LSD and then and then freestyles everything. So it, it's it, he doesn't write any music. He just it's like the most incredible thing to like watch ever. It was just special because I can hear his life and his pain and his sort of, uh, you know, things that, his challenges. And he wasn't trying to be anybody other than himself. And that's all I wanted to be around. And that's all I wanted to inspire and be inspired by.
<laughs> oh, darn. Is it? Where is it? Lying on the ground here. Hmm. What's it mean? <laughs>